Welcome back to PHP for Beginners. In this lesson, I will be discussing loops. I hope you have already listened to my earlier tutorials, the first three, which talk about installing easy PHP and uh, running simple scripts, uh, variables, data types and assignments, and also the if and the switch statements for making decisions. The objective of this lesson is learning about loops, especially the for and the while loops. Let's start with the for loop. The for statement provides a compact way to iterate over a range of values. It is often referred to as the for loop because of the way in which it repeatedly loops until a particular condition is satisfied. Let's look at this loop in more detail. You start with the for keyword and then you have three parts to this loop. The initializer, the termination condition and generally called the increment but which could also be a decrement or nothing. So when you enter the loop the initializer is executed first. So in this case the value of the variable i will be set to 1. Immediately after that, I'll check for the condition. Is i less than 10? The answer is true. So I'll go through the loop. And in this case, it's going to print the value of i. Go to the end of the loop. Come back. And now it'll go to this increment section. So i will now be incremented by 1. So i becomes 2. I'll check for that condition. Is i less than 10? Yes. So I'll keep on going. You keep on going as long as that condition is true. So if you run this loop, what's the output? What What's going to be the output of the program? Let's look at it. So the output is going to start at 1. As uh, uh, I already stated earlier, it'll go all the way from 1 through 9. What happens when i, I is 9? It prints 9, goes back to the top of the loop, i plus plus so i is incremented to 10 now it is going to check for this condition is i less than 10 that is no longer true so it's going to jump out of the loop there so the value of i of 10 is not going to be printed here is a little more interesting loop uh, more like a nested loop so we have an inner loop on j and an outer loop on the counter variable i. So we start right there, i is set to 1, so we enter the loop and now i is going to stay at 1 and we are going to run another loop, j equals 1 through i. Since i is 1, the inner loop is going to run only once, it will print i right there, get out of the loop, it's going to then pick up the next value of i, which will now be 2. So the inner loop will now run two times because the upper limit of the inner loop is i. So now it will run two times and it will print the value of i two times and so forth. So finally when i is 5, the inner loop will run five times, it will print the value of that variable i five times and so forth and then the loop would end. So this is how, so you can have a loop within a loop as many times as you want any number of times you want. A slight different variation of the for loop is called the while loop. If you only have a condition based on which you want to execute the loop and you don't have a, anything like a counter variable then you can use the while loop. So the while loop only has the condition. Let's start the while loop. So we set the count to 0, we enter the while loop while loop begins here and ends here. So i count is 0. So the question you ask is, is count less than 10? Yes. You enter the loop, you increment the value of count by 1, which becomes 1. You, you print it right there and go back to the top of the loop. Now count is 2 and it is still less than 10 and so forth. So if you run this loop, you will get values of i that will be printed from 1 through 10 and this is what the output would look like. A slight variation of the while loop is a do while loop. The only difference between a while loop and the do while loop is that 
the do while loop starts with the do keyword and the while condition the condition test is at the bottom of the loop so that's the only difference so the main difference here again is that no matter what the value of the variable count was in this case it will always enter the loop first so it will execute the loop at least once go to the end of the loop and then it will decide whether or not to go back to the top of the loop so just a little difference between the uh, while and do while loop there is also a way to break out of the loop using the break statement so in this case uh, I start with a count of 0 I increment by 1 and then I have a termination condition part of the, which is part of the while loop saying keep on going as long as that condition is true as long as count is less than 20 but sometimes what you may need is also a way of breaking out of the loop within the loop itself so here for some reason I want to say that if count ever becomes 11 exactly 11 then break out of that loop so you use the break statement to terminate terminate the loop okay so that was just a quick tutorial on the loops the for while and the do while loops next I will be discussing arrays uh, please visit my website techedguru.com we have many tutorials on programming languages such as PHP, Java, C Sharp and more are added every day. Thank you for listening.